All right, we did a grocery unpacking when I was in a house in the Adirondacks, so let's do it again. That's going out, a lot of that's going out today, so don't worry about that. Let's do it again in the home turf. And I have no idea what I bought. I was sort of in a hungry rage. Never go shopping hungry, ever, ever. I know what this one's got in it, so I'm going to uh, get this out first. Milk, obviously, and the things you make. Why did you fall? Chewbacca's here. And of course I bought giant things of cheese because the last video I'm like, where's my cheese? And there's, now I have cheese. So these are probably going in the chest freezer, which I'm just gonna, in the dark. Good. All right. Deal with that cheese later. Break it into smaller things because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be feasible to keep that, keep that size. I'm only going to keep a few of these bags. The rest are going to go away. Now, I'm not going to start putting things in the fridge yet because A, the fridge needs to be sorted. And B, I don't want to keep opening and closing the fridge door every three seconds. I've also got... If you watched my video of me cleaning the kitchen and doing all the dishes, here's what it looks like the next day pot for my, my I didn't film it but I got the oil up to like 415 degrees and other thing so doesn't last Chewbacca you sneezing at my groceries you sneezing at them you a grocery sneezer huh let's see what else have I bought ah uh, nearly out of canola oil so there's new canola oil now I have that thingy thing thing here so I'd say two more days, I'll have this low enough to fill it up with the rest of that bottle and then I'll have a full extra bottle. I bought this Honest Mango Lemonade. Now, these are things that are in the aisle and don't need to be refrigerated right away. I could keep this on my shelf for six years and then decide I want to have that later. Yoohoo, do not knock Yoohoo. World War II significance in that. Chewbacca. Uh, I bought some fancy ass German egg pasta. I love this stuff. This with butter and just like any meal ever is great. So I've been sort of trying to hack away at this. Put these the lights up. The stainless steel can go. It's dry. I've been eating all my soups. So I can refill some new soups instead of eating the old damn soups. All soup. Sliced pineapple. I actually have a shit ton of pineapple, don't I? I have pineapple tidbits. And what are you? Pineapple chunks. All right, so now it's at least a trifecta of slices, chunks, and tidbits. I also bought this. Oh, this is so good. The cream of chicken flavor and other natural flavor. I love how it's not actually soup. It's cream of chicken flavor. Soup. That's good for making sauces. And then I, I, I don't know why, but I, I never seen Jello in these containers. So I bought a chocolate Jello. Maybe one day I'll make Jello on camera. Chocolate Jello, orange tangerine, which for some reason that one wasn't on sale and these other ones were, and pineapple orange. Oh, that's, you need a lightweight snack. That's the way to go. Oh, I also found these at the checkout line. I never buy things there. Tic Tac Mixers, a flavor changing experience from cherry to cola. Probably because it just starts tasting bad. That's a good bag for Chewbacca Poo. Don't stalk me. <sighs> Loaf of bread. And I, my father could live on just bread. Like if he was a prisoner and there was like bread and water, he's super happy about that. Bought eggs. I bought a lot of eggs. I want to do some hard boil. I'm going to hard boil at least 10 of those. And then I can eat them in the morning. But here, look at this loaf of bread. Oh, how soft it is, too. Oh, the heel cracks. So good. Now, bread. Bread's a basically a buy daily thing, or you're just going to throw it. Like that tomorrow is breadcrumbs. Smash with a hammer. So that means today I've got to do something with it. Cuts them up and butter it. I bought cold cuts, even though it's stupid because I bought a whole sandwich because I was hungry. Again, I was hungry. Don't go shopping hungry. Peppers were a dollar each. So I bought 
a selection of peppers. I bought some onions. I've been out of onions for like weeks. I haven't been shopping in weeks because I'm trying to avoid... Two things happen when I leave this apartment. And only two things. I spend money and I buy food. And those are two things that you, I don't really need to do. So that's been my plan. Just don't. Don't leave. Don't leave ever. I'm pretty sure I saw the, uh, what's it called guy on that. These were buy three. Got them for two dollars a piece. And by the way, double milk chocolate Milanos are fucking amazing. Those should last me forever. Because your men, again, still have the York Peppermint Patty Box. Still, it's getting lighter though. It is there though. For those of you who don't know about that York Peppermint Patty Box, I bought that thing when I moved in here. And I keep it there to remind me not to just eat snack food. Because if I finish that box, I've eaten too many York Peppermint Patties. And it's been a year. It's been over, well over a year. All right, what else we got? Now, we're sorting this out by things that don't need to be refrigerated. These don't need to be refrigerated. The peppers don't need to be refrigerated, but i got to use them. And I'm probably going to do pepper steak. So, let's see. We'll make this pile over here vegetables. Vegetables that don't need to be refrigerated. Now, this is meat. This has to be refrigerated. Pepper steak is probably happening tonight. I also bought chicken thighs. Those also have, I could break those apart into separate bags and defrost them one at a time for lunch. This one has a USB cable out of it. That means it's got Fio player which for some reason will not charge properly. So I'm gonna plug you into this. Okay. And I'm gonna shut you off, because you're a new player that I bought. It's because I wanna keep that momentum of players going. People can keep yelling at me. Did the taste test of this on the Food Channel. Promised Land from the finest Jersey cows. Just it's the best chocolate milk, and this requires refrigeration. So let's walk with it. You got to go in the fridge. You're my gas receipt. More peppers. Even the giant green pepper. Well, the giant green peppers are usually cheaper, but recently they've been hard to find. Had a lettuce. We'll go through the cold cuts. I'll maybe I'll put cold cuts here. That's Oscar Mayer bologna. Why Oscar Mayer bologna, Zios? Don't you love your kidneys and liver and everything else that ground up in that cow? She's adorable sometimes. Sometimes, not fucking all the time. Players that need to be charged, battery charges that need to be charged, that needs to be charged. What else did I bring? These are all the cold cuts. Mayo, now I've never tried the real mayo, but these were like two, buy one, get one, free or buy one get one fifty percent off. I try not to look at sales. My parents, my mother lived on sales and it meant we couldn't get the things we wanted when we wanted them. It had to be on sale. So I try to like not even look. I don't look for sales, but I mean if I see something, I'm just, yeah, okay, I get some free mail. I don't know what you find so interesting. All right, cold cuts. Now, I could have waited at the counter and bought low salt chic house, but they don't have it, I don't think. But I bought monster cheese, American cheese, which I think I have some frozen, but it's always better fresh. And then I bought Chewbacca her bistro style turkey. And I don't know why I bought two hams. One might have been in the cart already, but that's a square ham and that's a normal shape ham. And then I bought this, which is Cooper Sharp White White Cheese. So I'm assuming this is cheddar? Because it's not, I don't know what it is. Mystery White White Cheese. Her daughter loves this, by the way. In case you don't know, Chewbacca has a daughter. Those are my parents. Look at that, you went through the thing. That was cool. Oh, Dinty Moore Stew. The best canned thing I think I've ever had. I bought one, like, not on a dare, but randomly at the supermarket across the street, and I'm like, let me try this now. Fucking great. If my stews could come out as good as that shit does from a can, that's the only way I'd make goddamn stews. Put you there. Uh, 
Hansi soda. Actually, this is giant brand cream soda, peach pear soda, or yeah, and another peach pear soda because they're good. I'm trying a different brand of wasabi sauce because they didn't have the blue ribbon. So we're going to try book binders. And I don't have to put that in the fridge till I open it. And the only, where's the Progresso soups? There's got to be more. Hearty chicken pot pie I want to try. She's like a T-Rex. Like a T-Rex. Receipt. How much was this whole fucking mess? For one person to live. This is probably, honestly, I, I shouldn't have to rebuy like mayonnaise. I'm not going to go back in a week and buy more mayonnaise. So a lot of this was stuff I just ran out of. 224.47. That's why I should keep an eye on sales. I've never had these, but I have had. Uh, uh, argument in the comments, best brand of potato chip because I'm calling it as Utz Kettle Classics Original. All right, and now these, which were right above it, I've never seen them before, are Grandma Utz hand cooked potato chips. So I, I'm going to see what these are doing. But the reason I like these, if you look on the back, it lists four types of fats. Saturated, trans, polyunsaturated, and monounsaturated. And I could taste every one of them. And they're delicious. If those taste the same, then I'm going to be pissy. All right, I needed a new Pam, original Pam. How are you going? Yeah, you're, you're on your last legs. i put you next to you. I ran out of Crisco in my last cooking video, or real low on Crisco, so this goes back there, and I'll finish that Crisco on something. I bought giant cans of tuna, and I bought one in water and one in vegetable oil. I usually like it in vegetable oil because it retains a little bit more fishy flavor, plus it falls apart a lot easier, though. The, the water stuff sort of like really cakes together. But the real reason is when I throw the can down for Chewbacca to eat out of it, I'd rather not have her shitting all over the floor, so vegetable oil is not for her. So we'll buy the water one for her. Which you're not gonna, don't ever give your cat, by the way, just like a can of tuna. It's too much mercury in it. You get them sick. New England clam chowder. I didn't buy New England clam chowder. I guess I did. Oh, and if I'm gonna go and buy Hershey syrup, because I've got, this is the Nestle syrup. And I don't know why I've got it. Because Nestle syrup, get this, does not need to be refrigerated. And Hershey syrup does. So what does that mean about the two syrups? I don't know. But this is actually milk booster syrup with a genuine chocolate flavor because none of them are actually just... It starts with high fructose corn syrup, then corn syrup, then water, and then cocoa and sugar. So there's not as not much chocolate to any of these, but this claims to be better. Putting you away. Oh, God. The dread part's coming. Not the good judge dread part. The dread of like, oh, I gotta put all this stuff away. I didn't buy actually much for the fridge, which is good. And here's the reason why I'm stupid, because I bought all those cold cuts and that loaf of bread, and there's a sandwich. Six bucks, I was starving. I ate half in the car. Grapes, love me some seedless grapes. These, again, don't need to be in the fridge, but they are so much better when they are. Oh. I've got to hang my uh, tomatoes. Could you stop eating plastic? Stop eating the plastic. It's not good for you, or it doesn't taste good, at least. Just stop. <laughs> she like jumped, like, oh, what are you doing? Now, I usually buy bundles of five, but there were no bundles of five. How am I getting you? This takes some skill and precision. You have to understand balances and weight. Come on, there we go. Ah. Uh. So I bought an extra loose one. I felt bad for this guy. So you will sit there for now and I will use you first, obviously. Tomatoes, apples, and onions. That sounds like a meal to me. One big white onion to complement the giant yellow onions, a bag of yellow onions. Four golden delicious apples. And these definitely have to go in the fridge. I try leaving them out. They turn way too fast. Lastly, this is the last bag. Fresh tortellini, so refrigerated spinach and ricotta, or ricotta, whatever you want to say. I love Mishin Braunschweiger, which is liverwurst. 
I don't like it on anything. I just like to eat liverwurst occasionally. And that'll last probably three weeks. So that's good. And I bought these uh, frozen chicken wing selection. Guess where this is going? Oh God, this bedroom. Don't worry, when I start streaming, this bedroom is one of the first things that gets cleaned. Chest freezers for the win. Let's chuck it in there. Now, putting things away. Let's put away the things in the fridge first, which means opening the fridge and going, fuck, ready? <sighs> fuck. You gotta make sure you breathe out while you're doing it. It won't sound authentic. Now, how many eggs do I have left? Four in here. What I'll probably do is I'll hard boil six eggs ASAP. Number one, so I don't have to have two things of eggs in the fridge. Let's make it even now. Okay. Where do the eggs hide? On top of the water bottle, obviously. Oh God. Did I put that in backwards? I'm gonna put that in backwards. Come on, come on. All right. Now you can slide on here. So that's water, it's corn syrup, water bottles to fill up the water container. I can get rid of one of those, at least. This is in my life hacks video. Someone requested life hacks three. And the problem is I have a piece of paper here that I was writing down all those things that I was like, oh, I'm gonna make a life hacks video and I'm gonna include this, 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 this. And eventually I had to make a second one because we like, and I've run out of things to life hack. So sorry. I'm not gonna make them up to make it a series. It's, it's gotta come to me or it just doesn't. What am I moving? And I promise that I don't want to bury. There's an old apple. How old? Old enough. I need my garbage pail open. Which means... Stop eating plastic! I hate you. I gotta move that plastic bag. This is life with a cat. Or children. I'm just, I'm just moving. It's, it's like those puzzles. Could you... I... I'm just gonna punch you in the mouth. No. No. Hot dogs and tater tots. Hank's gourmet root beer. That shit was expensive. That was two something a bottle. But it was good. All right. I've got my maple syrups in here that require refrigeration. I really need to make more food that requires maple syrup so I could use this shit. The Lowry's can go here. How old is this pesto? So it smells like pesto. Is there a date on it? My sister did this once, didn't she? She went through her thing on her on the cooking channel. How do they not include a date anywhere? Oh wait, January twenty what? January twenty seventeen. It's July twenty seventeen. Just saying. Oh, buttered noodles. Buttered pasta. Good. Love you. Love you. Those are leftovers. Leftovers have to have priority placement in the fridge because you will forget about them. You know this is true. You. You are milk boost. You don't have to go in there yet, so you're here. You're gotta go in because you're important. I c you can bury the water bottles. It just sucks when you have to go fill up your thing and you're like, oh, everything is up. Hank's Gourmet is so fucking good. Their grape soda yesterday really just blew my mind. I'm prop, do am I doing anything else with buttermilk? I know all you people at home are going, yes, you can make blah, blah, blah with buttermilk. Blah, blah. And I don't make those things. I bought this for that one recipe. It's good till the 21st. Still smells like buttermilk, which doesn't smell very good at all, but it still smells like that. Is that, that expensive cheese? Switzerland Gruyere. Wow, that's hard. And this has absolutely no, no date going on. All right, I'll figure out if this cheese is any good on my, on my own. This stuff, Wesley Farms Pineapple Habanero at BJ's. Mm. Why do I have two? Oh, that explains it. Because I have the touch of heat, and then I took this one off the door yesterday. I'm like, what's this one? And that shit's hot. So I have, now, why are they separated? These are brothers, they're kinship. What are you? Oh, the white soy sauce. So we use that for the, for the, um, Jesus, I haven't been in my fridge in a while. Because we use that. This, this rock hard frozen. 
I forgot. So this was my favorite barbecue sauce, and now this is my favorite barbecue sauce. So I got both. Summer's still happening. I'm gonna have to buy a lot of pork ribs. This is, this is how Zios plans his shopping. It's like, I got a lot of barbecue sauce, Chewbacca. I better buy like seven racks of pork ribs and then just smother them in barbecue. And then my barbecue sauce problems go away. All my problems can be summed up in how much barbecue sauce do I have. This one, the Sweet Baby Sriracha, is not terrible, but I don't use it on almost anything. That's why it stays behind the water, because who gives a shit? Okay, so Rufus Teague. Put that there and there and there. I need to see, I need a space, because the milk's got to go in. And I only buy the half gallons of milk, because I got a supermarket right across the street that has fucked up hours. It closes at 5. What supermarket closes at 5 in the afternoon? Chewbacca, if you get on that door, I'll be amazed and I'll laugh. Or she can close it on me. That'll be even more funny. All right, what do we got? I got half a bag of baby carrots. Exhibit A. And I didn't close the bag on purpose. When you close it and it gathers the moisture, that's when shit goes bad. So just, it, it's almost better. You have to balance that line of letting it dry out and letting it turn to shit. What are you? Oh, you're just rice and peppers, aren't you? Yeah, this is like two days old. That's fine. Can I make dinner with this as a side dish? I should have done it yesterday. But I made those fucking noodles because I was like, oh, I really want buttered noodles with my, uh, what did I even eat? This was with steak. What was yesterday's food, Chewbacca? I deep, oh, yeah, hamburgers and hot dogs. I had to get, I had to just have hamburgers and hot dogs. I haven't had hamburgers and hot dogs all fucking year. These have to be refrigerated. So I have back there chicken broth. And now I've got tortellini, so I could actually do that for lunch, like right now. Just pour the rest of the chicken broth, some water, put these in it, boil it, sprinkle some Parmesan cheese, done. Uh, water bottles can go there. More sad apples. These are honey crisps. Those are expensive. But I literally bought the literal fucking literal fucking two pack of literal apples from literal Costco. And it was like 30 apples. And at some point... I have to say, stop giving me apples. I can't take it anymore. What are you? You look violent. What are you? There's no English on your face. You're not even, oh wait, what is this? Did I buy this? This is one of those ex discovery videos that's gonna make me popular on the internet. The did I buy this? That's yours, take it back. I don't know what this is, nor do I remember buying it, and there's hardly any English on it. Dry seasoning sauce. S&B Osaka Ryu rubber. All right. Of course, it's not gonna work. There we go. See, girls, I am a fucking man. I could open this up for you anytime. Whoa. That's the pork flavoring of Chinese food. It's like, smell this, camera. When YouTube has that, by the way, it's gonna be real fucked up. Oh, it's rock hard. What is... I'm tempted to put this in my mouth. Wow. Does this need to be refrigerated? I don't even know. What? February 19th, 2016. My roommate was still living here. What the fuck? Was this his? How did it end up in like the middle of my fridge for a year and a half? I'm so bad, I'm sorry, people. This is, this is too good to throw away. I don't give a shit about the year. I could just eat this. It's the, it's the pork flavoring from Chinese food, from like pork, oh. All right, until I figure out to replace it. Now I need to put it somewhere where I like ask people about it. Cold cuts, eggs to boil. I'm not ready to boil them yet, but it's gonna come down to it. You wanna find out what cheese this is? The white, white? That's probably an H Mart exclusive, that other thing. If you don't have H Marts near you, petition the government to put more H Marts near you. Is this just American cheese cut in a really weird shape?
Yep. That must have been the end of the roll. Hi. That's right. We are going to do that. We're going to freeze this cheese. We're going to cheese this freeze now. I usually do cheese here. I've got some egg whites for when that egg whites is empty. That's the expensive cheese. Well, the cheeses are freezing. Hi, there's nothing for you yet. She wants cold cuts. She knows they're here, so hold on. Actually, that's why she's here. So American and Munster cheese. I can put these away, right, Chewbacca? Good. This celery, how are you holding up? Again, bag open. Do not close the bag. You'll have a little bit of drying, but look at how nice that is. Those are weeks old. Moisture is a killer. Moisture is the killer. She doesn't want ham. She wants turkey. Turkey? Turkey? Meow. Chewbacca, without you, I would have half the views. I'd also be making more money because I want to feed you. Turkey. Hit her in the face with it, make sure she knows what she's eating, and then drop it down. And let's see what happens. She's licking it. She's got the taste. She's wondering why I'm talking about her. And now she'll walk away with it. And she'll put it somewhere. And then she'll decide if she wants to eat it. So I, I know where I put that piece of turkey. And in 20 minutes, I might step on it in the bathroom. It's magic. Magic. Distribution of food. Hams, I don't need to try. I've got to make... i got to do things that require me to make sandwiches. Lots of cranberry sauce because... I need, I need cranberry sauce when I have chicken. And that's with those chicken thighs and shake and bake. I need the cranberries, need it, need it. Apples, I need to refrigerate. The carrots need to go back in. Look at all this strange cheese. Oh, by the way, this stuff, kombucha, gingerade. It's, it's got something in it, but it might not be something you want in you. I've got bottles left for like weeks. Alright, let's move the cheese. Apples. Apples and cheese and kombucha. Gotta finish the carrots. I was I made rice the other day. I should have just tossed this in the pressure cooker with the rice. Alright. In the way. Things need to be in the way and bother me. Or else I won't notice them. I won't eat them. And that has got frost on it. Actually. It almost feels good. I mean, it's frozen-ish. I can't. I, get, I I hate wasting food. I hate wasting food. I hate wasting those apples. I just couldn't eat any more fucking apples. There we go. Pickled beets. Who fucking doesn't like pickled beets? If you don't like pickled beets, please unsubscribe. My subscription count drops to two thousand. We need a little fork. Shut up. This is exactly how you put away groceries. I know you stop and just eat half the things you're touching. That's too many. I can't eat. I'm impossibly broken. Mm. Beets in general, I think, are my favorite vegetable. Root vegetable. It's beets. Did you even eat that turkey? So I can't even verify. Is that what you want? No? Good. Braunschweiger leftovers can crush the things. Another water bottle. I took these out of the chest freezer. They're still rock hard. They're pork chops. I still have that canned ham in here from back before I knew canned hams lasted forever. I still have more sour cream. I just don't, I'm not imaginative enough. I'm a, look, I can cook any food to make it tasteful and probably disgusting, but I have no imagination when it comes to like, I have sour cream. Tacos. That's it. That's my brain just defaults. Tacos. Parmesan cheese. Fresh. Has to be ground parmesan cheese. This is an open thing of applesauce. Needs to come to the top row so I see it. Although I fucking... That pork... I don't know. I, I, I'll go through this door maybe now too. Just get it over with. You gotta have lettuce. You're gonna have a sandwich. You gotta have tomatoes and lettuce and mayo. I'm a mayo person. I could add mustard with your mayo, but there's gotta be mayo. Okay, so now, 
chicken there. Beef on top. Oh. Life tip. Are right, you ready? Ready for the life tips number three? This is the entire surmountable uh, aspect of it. Let's say you're buying food at the grocery store, right? And you're going to drive home and it's hot out. Don't put it in your car like this. Put it in your car like that. So you've made a cooler around your meat. No one seems to grasp this. Obviously, it's in the fridge that might drip and leak. Actually, it's probably less likely to drip and leak that way. Because that's a sealed thing, and that's where the edges are. So I would say almost do that and put it away. But make the meats touch each other and have the, the saran, yeah, the styrofoam be the insulative outside. That only works when you're buying two things of similar size. The end for life hacks. Rice can go back in, leftovers. Sandwich has to go in. Shit, the bologna's got to go in. I forgot the bologna. I forgot the bologna. Everyone's like, why do you have so much stuff in your fridge? Oh. If you have an extra case of Crystal Pepsi, I'll buy it from you. Because I, I came back and I'm like, oh, thank God. And then it's gone again. I'm like, what? I only have like three bottles. I'm saving this for like my wedding day. That's, that's coming out. I'm going to shake it well. Half of that is good. Best stuff on roast beef. I haven't made a roast beef in a while. Shouldn't be thinking like that. Getting nostalgic about food. I should have bought another little lemon. Fuck! This is when lists come in handy. And I've also got all this shit hanging out. And here's the end of my um, wasabi sauce. My silver spring. I thought it was something else. Ginger dressing. This stuff. I need to have more salads, too. I'm gonna add lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. Maybe some, uh, what's it called, romaine. That's it. Some tomato. I've made a salad on, this, on my cooking channel before. It's a fucking miracle. What's left? Sodas don't... If you don't put the sodas in the fridge, you won't drink them because they're warm. And you know you don't want to ice down your sodas. So if you don't want to drink them, just leave them out. <sighs> this needs to be filled up. That needs to be cleaned. Now there's beet juice in the bottom of my goddamn sink. I have two of these. They stay in the freezer. I bought them to specifically do like they do at like A&W Root Beer, but the glass is not thick enough. It's only about 3 16 Those glasses are like fucking 3 8 So this, this comes back to room temperature in like five minutes. The bread. I wish there was a way to keep this bread from just, just staying this fresh forever without freezing it so that I could just have it forever. Dun 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 cat. All right, I think we're good. Oh, I also bought donuts. Nothing but different types of glazed donuts. I never buy donuts. You could you could ask Amber. I don't give a shit about like dessert. I'd rather have six steaks and six donuts. Like right now, six fucking steaks. You get to live. Are we done here? Now I've got to do dishes again and. Boil eggs. Chewbacca, you good? You good? I'm good. Oh, I'm making a new video for the Mayflower Arc. Oral Resonance Cascade. Is that really what that means? And it's gaming headphone amplifier and DAC that has a microphone input. So this is the holy grail that no one else has made. I think they're the first one to make one that's actually got, look, a microphone in. You have some DSP switch. High-low gain, optical in, 5-volt DC, USB or optical, and you get the output. It's good. It's good stuff. Let's hope it sounds good and doesn't have any driver issues, and that'll be good. I like the box. That was, an, that was a secret unboxing. Just throw it on the floor. Uh, good.